Are you guys ready for something new and exciting? Stay tuned. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your boy Sarge, back with another one. This time I got Psylocke. Uh, she's the Geisha uh, Psylocke. And um, I seen her on um, on YouTube one uh, morning. I saw this guy do an unboxing. And um, I was uh, intrigued. And I wanted my own. So I found the file on my 3D printer. And this is what I come up with. My own version of her. Uh, I'm more into the Jim Lee style. And I loved his uh, artwork. Uh, when... You know, he did the Marvel stuff with, with um, the X-Men mutants, and she was one of my favorite. Okay, here I'm starting with my monument hobby, uh, Beige Red. Also, the music is by my son, DJ Kings. You can find him on SoundCloud. <clears throat> so I'm just doing a base coat. I like this uh, monument hobby's uh, beige red because uh, it's pretty much uh, uh, all you need in the base coat to uh, base, get that base, first base, uh, base, base, uh, layer in it. Spray it on the hand and everything. Then I'll go back and do a base. lighter coat. Of, uh, 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 um, this is a mixture between Vallejo skin and uh, beige red. <clears throat> and I'm uh, thinning it out with some water. I'm dry brushing uh, with the, the beige red and the pale yellow mixed. Also, I add a little of that Vallejo uh, skin tone to it. And still water it down and hit it with my dry brush. Just to get those highlights. Now, a little uh, uh, brown wash. Because she is tan. Airbrushed her off camera uh, to fill in uh, some of those, 
those spots that, that didn't look right on you. Now I'm here with some uh, gray, black, and I'm doing the tattoos. <clears throat> and I'm just doing edge uh, highlighting uh, technique to get that, that brush to hit the tattoo. I don't want to go in too hard. You can see where I'm, I made one mistake thinking that that was a part of the tattoo, but it wasn't. But I covered it back up with, with some uh, skin tone. It was pretty good. Yeah, I'm just doing a little red wash in the eyes before I do the um, eyeballs. I'll do some, bring out some more highlights in her face with the red. I was just making it pop even more. This, this is a, a really nice um, model. It is, I believe, a red copy of the, um, the other one that I saw being unboxed. Who cares? Um, it's still great. Cool. Yeah, people do know. Like uh, in all the other videos of uh, these uh, female characters. All right, so now I'm doing the whites of the eyes. With, um, not too much white, but mixed with a little bit of that red. Give it some pink. Our teeth, of course. Get some more white. Just saying, I'm going back and put more pink. You know it all becomes pink at the end. <laughs> all right, I finished that. Now onto her uniform. This is a combination between the um, the blue from Vallejo and the um, the blue from um, Picky Pinks. Uh, I use this combination on a lot of my blues. It's just just a really nice color. And then after that, I will go in with another coat over it, the transparent blue, to give it that um that nice sheen. So next, I will go in and uh, do the her um, the blacks of her eyes, and then I will um, fill in and get the shape that I want with my sharpie pen. And then I'll come back in with this white. There we are. And now I'll take some of um, this um, 
Teal from uh, Monument Hobbies. We go over that white. This, this is not teal, it's turquoise. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but uh, then I'll go with the purple. And that just Please. looks real cool. Gives it kind of that anime look also. Yeah, I mean, she does have powers, so. It does make sense. Now after that shine in her eyes, I will do her um, eyelashes and eyebrows with a little bit of that uh, purple and, and black. There we go. I originally attempted to with my um, my black sharpie that did not work out well. <laughs> use your paintbrush when you're doing this. Unless you have like a felt tip. Uh, yeah, not a not a regular tip. All right. Now we're coming in with the eyeshadow. And I'm basically just taking that purple and mixing it with some water, thinning it out, and <clears throat> feathering it in. Because you don't want it to uh, be too thick. You want it to see through I originally you know I wish I would have had, had this consistency and that fit because it's a little darker than I, you know, I, I wanted it to be right now but you know later I can go lighten it up but for right now it's fine because this, this is for me it's not going to anyone And not just for me, it's for you guys too. But you look at that like on here. Speaking of which, please subscribe. Uh, you know, I see I got a lot more traffic lately. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, speaking up, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for everybody that tunes in to see what I'm doing. And I will, like I said, keep up. Uh, you know, keep up. The videos and keep them coming because this is what I like to do. This is my passion. <laughs> Got a little turquoise on your nose. It ended up staying as a highlight. <laughs> now the lips. I went over those lips a few times just to get the right shape. But it's the same purple. And these monument colors, they're so smooth. They're, they really are. I like them. And um, I've used them in my airbrush and the paint um, brush. And they're, they're both equally smooth. So that's what I have to say about those. Anybody was wondering? And continuing with that color, I'm going in and doing the base of her uh, hair. And I'm using a, a number one um, paintbrush so I can, uh, you know, hit the details like her, her fine hair. Then I'll go back with a bigger brush to do the bulk of it. Look at me, I'm using a glove. <laughs> Now the blue highlights over that purple. Now that I've got it all on there. And I love how that turned out. I think you do too. Hey, 
Here I'm just taking a little brown and I'm uh, going over uh, the, um, the wood paneling, you know, just to make it look like wood. And you can see the, um, the wood grain is starting to pop out. Uh, I like to use, um, you know, uh, masks and also like to use freehand. In this case, you know, doing both works out because, you know, we're going uh, perfectly. Perfect. <clears throat> Here, I'm make, making, um, putting tape down to make it seem like these are actually individual slats. And once that comes off, you'll see. What do we have? Now, um, I wanted the rooftop to look like um, what you see, in, you know, in China. I, I see a lot of green on the rooftops with the uh, like brown wash on it. That looks authentic to me. Here, I just flipped it over and did a little dark red. And now, um, color the flower, and we're almost uh, wrapping this puppy up. Uh, here, um, I'm going in with some um, clear resin and just uh, putting it over her, her eyes, just so you know, you know they're wet, and the lips also, you know, they're wet, and also the nails because they're not wet, but they're polished <laughs> and here's the final results hope you guys like it and thank you for watching And here we are. She took a little over a week to uh, get done with the printing process with printing her and drying her. And um, I took a, about a week for the paint process. I don't like to rush my stuff and um, try to give you the best quality that I can. I uh, did a, a mixture of uh, all the paints that I have from Army Painter uh, to um, the new Pro Acryl from Monument Hobbies. I used the uh, Vince Venturella uh, line with the, like the hair color from the purple and the, and the, and the blue. And uh, I pretty, got a pretty good, uh, um, <laughs> pretty good uh, um, um, uh, come outcome from uh, this. So um, next up I have, uh, the new Iceman uh, from um, Wicked, and I'm gonna do the Iceman from uh, from um, uh, Sanix also. So um, after that, my son not my my not my son my nephew's uh, Spider Man uh, for his birthday. Then I got a couple more down the line, including the Incredible Hulk. So you guys stay tuned for that. And if you like my content please subscribe and uh i'm gonna bring as much as i can to you as quick as i can with good quality 
All right. So you guys have a good one. Please uh, take care of yourself and peace out.